Well, it seems like we finally got ourselves some Halloween Horror Nights news here in California. What's up, everybody? My name is Anthony from the Knights of Horror, and today we got our very first Halloween Horror Nights 2021 announcement. Yeah, now I know what you're thinking. It's been about, <laughs> fuck, a year and a half since we've gotten an announcement of anything from Halloween Horror Nights, uh, other than they weren't going to be doing an event in 2020. But, man, this one was a pretty good one, man. We got the first maze announcement for 2021. Um, one that's been speculated since 2020, now it's been speculated in 2021, uh, which is Netflix's The Haunting of Hill House. Uh, what can I say about The Haunting of Hill House? I know for one, Sammy's excited for this one, uh, and I don't even need him here to tell me that. Like, I know he's excited for this one. Um, I could say I'm pretty excited for this one as well. Uh, I, I have to say Haunting of Hill House season one, uh, it, it was just a phenomenal season from start to finish I, I remember sammy telling me about it and then the day he came over we we binged it and i didn't put i couldn't put the remote down it, it, it's one of those shows that i had to keep watching because it kept wanting you to want more and everything so i finally you know i i gave it a watch and and you know i watched the entire thing in one day and it was such a great show such a fun time um so that is something I'm super excited to see what they pull off. I know that Orlando has released pictures today. I don't know if they were leaked or if it was released by Orlando themselves of the facade and some scenes of the maze, which I'll be showing here on the screen. But yeah, man, it's really cool to see that uh, Haunting a Hell House is coming to the event. Now, what can we expect from the thing? Hopefully, what can we expect? What we want to see in the maze? Obviously, the bent neck lady is being advertised big time for this uh this house maze, whatever you want to call it, but um, the bent neck lady is being advertised heavily right now. So there, obviously, we're gonna see the bent neck lady, uh, Mr. Bowler Hat Man. I would love to see him. Uh, someone on stilts can easily pull that one off. That would be really, really cool. A lot of the ghosts and stuff throughout the show are really cool. Even the uh, you know the hidden ghosts that they showed within you know, the house as Easter eggs would be really cool if, if, if they could pull that off too. Um, I would love to see the uh, mortuary scene. That was probably one of the most terrifying scenes on the show. Uh, what else was more terrifying? You know, there was a lot of terrifying scenes on that show. Uh, the jump scare in the car has to be accomplished one way or another. There's no, there's no question about it. That was another great jump scare in that show. Um, so, yeah, where can we expect to see this maze at? I can tell you right now the rumors have been leading towards a soundstage, specifically the soundstage behind Transformers, in between Transformers now and the currently in construction Super Nintendo World. Um, that's where the rumored maze was supposed to be. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I, I think I, I, it would be best to go in a soundstage. I would really like it to be in a soundstage because uh, there's a lot of effects and whatnot they have to pull off just to to get that. But, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for this, man. I mean, we, we got the trailer today, and I think what's really exciting about this announcement is the fact that it's been so long since we've gotten anything from, you know, Universal Hollywood that when, when this announcement dropped, I, I can feel the excitement in the community of, just having a Halloween Horror Nights this year. And, you know, I've been chatting with a couple people, uh, a couple different, you know, groups and whatnot, and and everyone has their own two cents about it. 
Um, I'm pretty sure you'll start hearing a lot of other people's opinions come out uh, with other videos who cover SoCal haunts and whatnot. So I'm beyond excited for this. I, I'm just happy we're getting an event. I, I don't care at what scale, what size. I, I just want an event. Um, I, I, I really... Like I said, I'm not picky about it. I wasn't picky about 2020's haunt season because I knew it wasn't going to be no freaking like not scary farm or Halloween Horror Nights or anything. But um, I, 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 had, I had fun in my own ways. And I, I'm not going to be picky about this year because I know a lot of people probably lost a lot of money, you know, not doing any haunts or anything this year to put budgets into mazes or whatnot or, or were, you know, budgets were cut or something. So... I'm going to go into this, you know, with not so high expectations because I know that there's going to be some issues with probably budgets and whatnot. But at the same time, I'm going in with a lot of excitement because it's the fact that, you know, major haunts are returning this year and uh, we're getting some new haunts this year, returning haunts. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun to see how creative people can get this year, you know, with uh, the pandemic slowly um, kind of getting better. So Haunting a Hell House comes. Also, they, they give us uh, re, um, opening dates, September 9th, 2021. Unfortunately, I will not be there opening weekend. I will be in Orlando, Florida for opening weekend in Hollywood. Uh, so I will have uh, some of the other guys in the Nights of Horror will probably be there to show up and show their support and go see the event. Uh, I know Rob will probably be our, our guy on the ground filming everything for you guys for the channel. But I, I, I rest assured I will go the next weekend when I come back because uh, that will be my essential opening weekend for HHN Hollywood. So uh, I'm excited for our event. Uh, I'm excited for Orlando's event. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fun uh, comparisons to do this year, especially with, with me going to both, you know, Horror Nights this year. So, you know, Universal Orlando celebrating the Big 30 for them. Uh, super excited for that. And Universal Hollywood is just <laughs> returning in general with with mazes and, and an event. So I'm I'm excited for that. I, I know in the past we've covered uh, in the past we've covered some speculated lineups. Uh, so let's see how how true they are. So far, Haunting a Hell House was on that speculated lineup, and it's looking like it's coming to the event now. So uh, with the confirmation from Horror Nights this morning. So. Thank you, everyone, for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for Haunting a Hell House and Horror Nights returning as I am. If you guys are, leave that like button. Leave some comments down below what you guys think about today's announcement of the Haunting a Hell House coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2021. Uh, and with all that being said, my name's Anthony. You're watching the Nights of Horror. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to be aware every time we put up a new video. And we'll see you guys next time. You're moving into